Hello friends, it's Richard, and I'm here to tell a quick story and it's about me being an alien contactee. Now, the group of aliens that I have uh, made contact with primarily are the Dracos. They're the reptoids. Uh, they're known politically as the Alliance. But I've also met with a Nordic. Now, the Nordics are interesting because they are in charge of the reptoids. Um, Earth, planet Earth, is under the control of the reptoids, but only because the uh, Nordics don't seem to be in favor of changing the status quo. Um, so I'm a contactee, and uh, I can tell several stories. Um, my old manager in rock and roll, he was a uh, reptoid. Um, I'm not sure he was as tall as another one that I met later. Um, I was in rock and roll with that manager around 96, but another one that I, I met, and we also did some work in uh, rock and roll and music. Um, but this one was about seven feet tall um, when it shape shifted. And uh, so, yeah, this gets back to me being a contactee. Um, some of the stuff I tell you is from my personal experience, but some of it is easily obtained on the internet. And uh, it is the occult. Um, you know, groups know about these reptoids going back into history. Um, you know, groups like uh, the Freemasons, for instance. And uh, there are documents like uh, from a group uh, about 2,000 years ago. There are documents from the Gnostics. And uh, they speak of these uh, archons. And the archons are the reptoids. And the Gnostics tell the story of how they, uh, well, they came from another part of our solar system, and they uh, imprisoned mankind on planet Earth, um, and they use us as a food source. Um, the energy of uh, you know anger and hatred, and uh, you know um, probably sorrow. Uh, grief, all of that. The reptoids, which have, who have mankind uh, in a lockdown, they feed off those energies. They are parasites. And yeah, the Gnostics in the book known as the Nagamadi, um, they tell this story. But yeah, as I say, there are other groups. And these days with the internet, uh, I read. Uh, a poster uh, somebody posted just a statement on Facebook and they say the truth the truth is no longer hidden um, people are hiding from the truth and uh, yeah well for the uh, seeker the internet is a tremendous tool but not all of my information comes from there as I say, this goes back in my in my lifetime, and I'm 43. This goes back to when I was in my 20s, and uh, yeah, I spent some time uh, in Sydney with uh, one of the Draconians, and uh, you know, it gave me some information, and uh, that was that mankind is living underground in a construct, an electromagnetic. Like it's a computer game kind of uh, effort um, to keep men under control. So, uh, yeah, I've got to tell you guys that I've been outside of the construct and things aren't looking too good up there. We call it the surface. And, yeah, when I was there, um, everybody was dressed in rags. So. It gets into folklore because the reptoids are the fairies, the Irish fairies. And there are plenty of stories in Irish folklore of how uh, the fairies 
keep mankind uh, underground held hostage. Now the surface from folklore, my limited knowledge is that there is a group called the Malaysians. Now the Malaysians defeated the Irish fairies, also known as the Didanan. So the people of the goddess Danu, I covered this in a previous talk. So they have mankind held hostage. The Malaysians, I don't know who they are. They could be the Nordics, you know, in sci-fi terms. Um, yeah, I'll wrap it up there. Um, I've put another piece of the puzzle in place. Um, I'm glad for the uh, audience that I have. Namaste. Richie.